Hello, my name is Cor Matthew and this is the RSA implementation assignment for mathematics in my course in DKIT. In this first video I'll be looking at the coding and then in the second video we'll be talking about the problem that I encounter limitation and uh, doing a walkthrough of the program actually running the program and showcasing it okay we start off with I'm going to start off with the uh, prime number class and then I'll move on to RSA class and then utility and then to the main uh, we have instead of integer value I went with a uh, big integer file which you can import by Java dot math dot big integer the reason why I decided to go with it instead of um, integer value is because it can withstand bigger number it also provides a uh, module arithmetic and a uh, greater common divisor calculation which we are using for which we are using in cryptograph and we're learning that right now uh, other uh, variable I use is int here uh, string boolean and random uh, int bit line is uh, the bit length of the string which we are going to take in. Uh, we have some getters, we have some setters here, and the getter will be used in the public key to get the public key in the RSA class. Okay, generate uh, random uh, prime number. Uh, first off, we create a, a new secure random which is used to generate a strong cryptographical number uh, generate two um, prime number by specifying the bit length which we saw with 2000 divided by 2 and the certainty and using the secure random which we have up here I then use some if statement to see if the both the prime number are prime and if they're not if they are equal to each other if they are equal to each other then they have to go through the thing again if they are if one of them prime not prime or both of them not prime then they have to go through the thing again until they are both prime and also not the same number okay is prime uh, we take in uh oh sorry we take in a big integer value and we return a boolean value uh, it check if the uh, big integer value is a prime number or not we then have a two string which will uh, which return the prime number dot string which is um, we don't use but uh, it's good to have it there anyway uh, okay now we're moving on to RSA class we have big integers which we import by java.mat.bigintegers uh, we have getters again we have setters and to generate a public key uh, okay first off we take in a pr uh, prime uh, the prime number class and we use the number to uh, get the uh, number uh, prime number one and prime number two and get the mod and the find mod uh, another thing about big integer is that they cannot do um, minus one you have to do dot subtract big integer dot one or multiply uh, dot multiply instead of the star symbol okay the mod uh, we got to get prime number one from the thing and multiply by prime number two we get the by mod we get the prime number one to attack uh, minus one uh, one and multiply by uh, prime number two and to attack by which is to attack by one we then created another uh, prime number and we generated around the key and we made a public key one of um, prime numbers okay uh, generate a private key uh, it taken no value and uh, we use the mod inverse method which is uh, again taking 
from java.mat uh, uh, import which would come fr from the java.mat uh, big integer uh, the mod inverse method return a module multiplicative inverse of the mod uh, the reason why I went with this is because um, from the examples I've seen it is uh, good with when the private key is a negative number which it sometimes can be uh, private key big integer encrypt it taken a big integer uh, value uh, we use the method called dot mod pow and which is, is which return a big integer whose value is the power and the world I decided to go with this rather than um, pow which is found in java java dot math be, uh, method because uh, it can um, stand negative power unlike the power method. Uh, again, return a, a big integer value. Uh, decrypt pretty much does the same, except that with the public key, it does the private key. Uh, a little extra code here is the basic allogram which I was using before moving to big integer, uh, which was used to get the private key however uh, one problem with it was that I wasn't able to get when the, uh, get negative numbers which uh, which is kind of bad okay in the utility class we have a private static uh, scanner which is used to uh, for user to write in stuff and the public style display menu display the menu in the main app to the user. So one is check message, two is look at the key, so public key and private key, three is the change message, four is encrypt, and five is decrypt. Uh, you have to do four before you do five. I'll show you a thing I did in main app where I didn't um, check a boolean check and it's six is exit. The input in um, the lowest value is 1, the maximum value is 6, so it's in the range of 1 to 6. Uh, if they enter in a uh, non-number uh, value like A, B, C, D, E, F, G or any of them, or a sentence, it will come back like non integer value if it's out of the range and not in the range of minimax. I will keep doing it until the boolean value is true. And then return the choice. Okay, now we're moving on to main app. So again, we have some big integer uh, boolean check, which is equal false, which we'll use down here. And um, we have the main, and then the main enter into the begin function, which is this here. And we have choice equals to one as the string message, which we have as hello there friend. And we create a prime number. And then we generate a prime number from a prime number class. Uh, we then do an we and create an RSA class, which we call cipher. Uh, we generate a public key, which we take the uh, from the prime. We generate a private key, and we uh, make a new uh, value called big uh, byte message, which is a big integer, which take in the uh, message dot get byte and turn it into a byte and uh, we enter into a do while loop and uh, we get the menu and display the menu and then ask for the user choice and then from that choice they will pick the thing so choice one uh, message as I said choice two get and uh, public key and private key choice three change the private key and uh, here we have the byte method again and uh, if they change the private key we want it to equal to the new message so we change the, that into the new message. We also make the sure the thing is checked. And uh, choice four is encoding. We make the ch uh, check and uh, true. And the reason why we have it like this is because if they want to go deco uh, decode, and if they didn't encode first, then they get uh, they try entering decode, then it should go down to here and say sorry you did not encrypt. 
so if you create a new one new message it should come false because you didn't create a new message so you have to do uh, encode the new message in order to do this if you do get encode it and then you move on to decoding and in encoding anyway uh, it will showcase your uh, in message by uh, saying encoding and then new string uh, encoding dot two byte array this turns the begins your back into a string and then decode it does the same and decode the message and then six to exit it okay uh, that's for video one I will get uh, move on to um, showcasing the code as well as talk about the limitation and uh, problem that I was having in this program.